Good morning guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, doing a small walk and talk here in this beautiful park in Phuket near my house. Uh, today a short video about banks. Yes, I love the banks. <laughs> Fuck the banks. Mind can't get no rest. No, no. I've been down so long. I don't love the banks. And yesterday I saw two items, two news items in the Netherlands that made me think about talking about the banks. The first news article was like uh, a man and his wife receiving letters from the banks why they were spending so much money on their electricity bill and other bills. And the guy is like, wow, he didn't realize banks that the gas price went up, so we need to pay these amounts of money to get a warm house. So the banks summoned them to give a reason why they were sending so much money to the gas company. Like, this is what centralized idiots like banks do. They want to determine what you do with your money. And this is going to be more crazy in the future, in my opinion. So that's why I don't have any bank accounts anymore, because I don't want these ridiculous idiots wearing some suits to be able to have any influence on my spendings or freeze my bank account because I want to pay my gas bill. That's like the most crazy thing I have ever seen and it is becoming normal and the most idiot thing is that all people find this normal. And maybe even people watching my YouTube channel are like, yeah, that's normal. They should be able... Why? <laughs> I never heard about privacy. Can I just spend my money to what I want? Can I buy like boxes of Bacardi as much as I want every month without being like frozen and like being shouted at as a fucking alcoholic or something like that? Like, I just don't understand that people are even supporting those banks. You should all withdraw everything from your banks, put it in cash, buy Bitco Bitcoins in an OTC deals, if you're even able to withdraw out of the bank, because of all the money existing in this beautiful world, only 3 to 4% still is available in cash. So if you get more, if you want more than 20K from your bank, they will be like, oh, we need to make a reservation for it, and you can come back in like a three to four weeks to claim that 20K in cash. Because it's not there. It's a huge scam. It's the biggest scam ever existed. That's real multi-level multi marketing from the top of the shell by people in suits. So that was the first item of the banks. Now there was a second item on the banks yesterday as well, and that was about the Dutch Central Bank. Because they, they really posted the news article where they were saying, um, there is some companies in the Netherlands that are not accepting cash anymore and that's illegal because cash is still a valid way of paying stuff in shops, should be valid, so you should accept cash as well. But like there were stores that only like, had, had like a 4% payment in cash and there were stores that they're not even accepting cash in the Netherlands anymore. And then the Dutch bank says, ah, this is not good. People should be able to pay with cash. Come on, guys. That's a huge setup. The Dutch bank, they want people to use cash we all know that the bigger plan is the dutch bank doesn't want you to use cash the dutch bank wants also to use to use the central bank's digital currency that's going to be created and for that to happen they need to get rid of cash so why are people so easily fooled by these news items the dutch bank uh, doesn't want shops not to accept cash of course they don't want those shops to accept cash but they need to play that stupid fool and make that beautiful magic trick for you guys all there no we don't want that but in the end the goal of that is yes they want that because now people not read ah the dutch bank doesn't want the people read ah oh, so many people are they just using digital forms of payment? So people are not using cash anymore? Why am I using cash anymore? This is like, this is psychology, but then reversed. Reversed market marketing psychology, what the banks are using and central bank. And people are falling for that shit. I even saw a few influencers talking about it as if the bank, the Dutch central bank, really doesn't want people um, to be forbidden to use cash. Just arrived home guys and I was walking back from the spot where I was recording the video uh, and I, I realized I, I, I was not like like was not like ready yet because I'm still like I'm even mad in my head that people still believe those fucking banks central banks because they are just not doing good for us guys so do you really think that the Dutch central bank wants businesses in the Netherlands to keep accepting cash because there are some businesses that are not accepting cash anymore and the bank net dutch bank said no nah, we don't like that you should be accepting cash it's because it's a legal tender now wait i'm walking into my garden so do you really believe that guys so who do you think is forcing those businesses not to use cash anymore 
it is those banks. And how do you do that? To create insane fees to do cash deposits when they receive cash from the customers. So a bar or a restaurant or a shop, except uh, uh, when they are accepting a lot of cash payments, they have a shitload of cash payments after the weekend and then they need to deposit it into the banks. But that became so expensive that those shops are now like, I don't want to deposit that cash anymore. I'm losing 10 to 15% of my capital that way because the cost of depositing the money is almost 10%. Why would I use cash then? I will start to accept digital forms of currency and debit cards and credit cards and all that stuff. So a bank trying to fool you in a way to tell you like, yeah, we want stores to still accept cash, then lower those fees, then make no fees, then, then make zero deposit fees for these um, shops, restaurants, and all these businesses that are accepting cash. And then stop telling those businesses, you can only accept up to 3,000 euros in cash per transaction. So if I want to buy a car with cash, it's impossible. Anything else more expensive than 3,000 euros, impossible, because that's not legal anymore. Believe me, those banks don't want cash to be around anymore. That is their bigger plan. So whatever they say in the media is there to fool you. Cash is going to be gone before we all know it. We all know it. My kids don't use cash anymore. Your kids don't use cash anymore. They pay their bills with a telephone everywhere in the supermarket, everywhere where they want. They don't have any use case for cash. Cash doesn't have any future. So why would you be fooled by this Dutch bank stuff that is telling you that cash should be accepted? Of course not, guys. Don't be fooled. Uh, the bigger plan is the world is going to go cashless. After the world is going to go cashless, they will have a beautiful alternative for you to spend at that central bank's digital currency. And that central bank digital currency is a currency that they have full control on. And because they have full control, you won't be able to spend those central bank's digital currencies to what you want. So if you want to buy Bitcoin, when cash is not there anymore, and you need to use the central bank's digital currency to buy Bitcoin, they will say, eh, no, not possible. Because that is not what they want. They want you to use their supposedly decentralized form of currency that is not a decentralized form of currency but uh, centralized as hell and forbidding you to do whatever you want because they can still easily freeze it they can more easily freeze that kind of money than your cash now at least cash you still have this power that you can put it in your uh, mattress and they can't touch it central bank's digital currency they will be able to freeze whenever they want so if you want to go into bitcoin in a way that they don't know that you have those bitcoins now is the moment still there i think this is the last year that you can still buy bitcoin on non-kyc regulated places and exchanges and otc deals before that cash really is going to disappear in the next five years and then when it's gone guys then your everything on your privacy is gone because they are then in full control and as long you are using their currency they will stay in control it is now there the moment that you should start to use our currency that we created as a collective and that we are supporting as a collective which is called bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency that you prefer above those central banks digital currencies because if you use their currency they are in control but if you stop using their currency they lose all the power and the control on you and that is exactly what we need as a community we all need freedom freedom of thinking freedom of speaking freedom of spending our capital the way we want, to we want, to who we want, where we want, and in which form we want. That is true freedom. That's the freedom that we all need across the whole world. And in my opinion, that peaceful revolution is called Bitcoin. So that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about those two news articles? I will put the links down below because are you still having some money on your bank account? Please let me know if you're one of those people that still doesn't understand what the fuck is going on. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.